Hey everybody, what's up? I am Doc Hikari, bringing you episode 20 of Let's Play Pokemon Trading Card Game Online. I hope you saw that first splash teaser, because that was a splash teaser for Pokemon Sword and Shield Darkness Ablaze. The new set that will be out in only eight days. There it is again. I waited for it to scroll around. Let's see. That may just open a website. Yeah. Okay. Don't click that. It opens Internet Explorer. <laughs> Which, why would anybody want that running in this day and age? Alright, I just had to make sure, make sure that it fully closed because I didn't want it taking up CPU. But there is a, a URL on the Pokemon Trading Card Game website that talks about the new set. Um, I almost have en enough tokens for the deck that I want, so that's kind of my next goal for purchase. I don't think I'm going to be able to do a booster opening today. I'm sorry, I did one every other day this week that I was able. But I'm going to get to it and do some verses. I have a little under an hour to do it. And, um, same shirts. And same hats. <laughs> Juan Gala, 131. So I'm just going to do what I can, and I hope you enjoy. Okay, I'll start things off with Eevee and Snowax GX Tag Team. And Mewie Tui on my bench. Put a Grass Energy on Eevee and Snow Wax and end my turn. Cynthia. My opponent uses Cynthia to shuffle their current hand back into their deck and draw. It's six new cards? Yeah. Okay. I'm just gonna use Switch and make Mewtwo my active Pokemon, try Crushing Hammer to rid my opponent's coughing of that uh, horror energy. Horror energy! And with that, my turn is over. If you're not new to this series or watching it, um, you may have noticed that I finally adjusted the audio, so I turned the sound effects down, and, um... Oh, I could have taken advantage of weakness there. I turned the sound effects down and the music up for a better presentation in my estimation. And if you're new to this series, or watching it, or checking it out, and what I do, um, yeah, I do a lot of versus mode, and, uh, hopefully the audio is nice. That's what I'm hoping for. I got a review yesterday's, and then today's output. I'm actually a, a full day behind on reviewing content. That's okay. You're not gonna be messing up my day for much longer, Mr. Weezing. Unfortunate that my Mui Tui got knocked out, but, um, that's okay, I'm doing well otherwise. That's really funny, I'm sure my opponent's sitting over there thinking, My, how the tables have turned, and uh, no they haven't. 
I'm turning tables. You're not turning tables. I'm turning tables. Ah. Tables have been turned. So, very cool. A five minute victory for me. And 25 more tokens from the mystery box. Putting me up to 360. I need, uh, it's either five or 600. I was just wondering this last night and I should have checked so the deck that I'm after is right here 500 okay back to versus mode Okay, the Dark One, 82, with what appears to be a psychic and colorless themed deck. Clearly they have their psychic uh, affinity, if you will, leveled up a little bit. This is going to get nasty <laughs> with my psychic and dragon type deck. Ooh, a new card. Mewtwo EX XY107 promo. I think that's from um, I'm trying to remember the exact name. It's like the EX Battlemind Challenge box. Something like that. No, not Battlemind. Because it comes with an XY Evolutions theme deck. Battlemind is uh, a very different deck. <laughs> okay, I'll heal up for all I can, or all that I can for this turn. Yeah, they definitely got that box, because there's the XY Evolutions Mewtwo non-hollow version that's in the deck that I'm referring to. Play Cynthia to draw a new hand, and I'm going to want to do that again, honestly. Not what I wanted, but I'll put a Fighting Energy on Garchomp and Giratina, and uh, soon, maybe not next turn, a Steel Energy on Dialga GX. How unfortunate. All right, I will actually just play Cynthia. I don't want to use Espeon and Deoxys Tag Team GX. Psychic Energy on Garchomp and Giratina GX Tag Team. And start damaging that Mewtwo because it has over... Um... 160 HP. Look at that beautiful Mewtwo GX card. Desire. Now I'm really wishing that I did have a Pokemon Center Lady in tow, but I'm gonna do everything I can to make the most out of this turn and then hopefully heal up next turn. So, I'll play my Battle Mind theme deck Mewtwo, and return Pokemon Center Lady to the top of my deck, and play Lucario and Melmetal GX Tag Team on my bench. Unfortunately, I have to attach that Steel Energy to this Pokemon, 
and attempt to attack. Attempt was successful. Now see, I could have used that Psy energy last turn. But I'm not giving up yet. My opponent uses Cherish Ball to retrieve any GX Pokemon from their deck, any one. And they choose Muck and Alolan Muck GX Tag Team. I'm gonna save that Psychic Energy just for the time being. and see what it is that I'm dealing with here. Yeah, I'm okay. That doesn't even help my opponent. The Dark One, 82. Okay, I'll get these two from my deck, and the only one I'm going to add to my bench is Eevee and Snorlax. Another surrender, 11 and a half minutes in, two wins, and I just got another 20 tokens. Well, I feel I would be foolish if I did not keep the GX Legends streak going, or at least try to. Silen Firestone 1 calls the coin flip wrong, and I choose to go first. Not going to bench Espeon and Deoxys GX Tag Team until I know I have a strategy going for it. If it's my only Pokemon, I'll do it, but um, I'd rather not, honestly. I would rather not. Draw my three extra cards, no to benching Espeon and Geoxys, yet still. Attach a Psychic Energy and an Energy Pouch to Garchomp and Giratina GX Tag Team. With that, I end my turn. Let's have a look at this Parallel Hollow. Blasophalon Ultra Beast, that's what I thought it was. Good thing I have Professor's Letter, so I can get the setup going. As long as Sylvan Firestone... Oh, I thought there was a V in there. Doesn't mess with my hand. They surrendered, so three quick wins today already. Thirty more tokens, and that brings me a little closer to my theme deck purchase. Maybe I'll feature that in today's episode. Getting all these extra lightning points for the Versus Ladder because of the wind streak. Mastini. Mastini is calling the coin flip. And another coin flip in my favor, two in a row. Okay, I'll place Delmize as my active and put Mewtwo on my bench. I will draw the extra card. I am finished setting up. Attach a Grass Energy to Delmize and finish my first turn. Ultra Ball. 
Okay, so my opponent's going to discard a card, two cards, and search their deck for a, any Pokemon card. It's a nice parallel hollow. Ultra Bar. Ball. I don't know what an Ultra Bar is. I don't want to find out either. And that is a very cool Sceptile EX. My opponent plays Trainer Tate and Eliza to shuffle their hand into their deck and draw a new hand, and with that, well, I guess they already had this. No, no. Yeah, with that, they got another Sceptile EX and added that to their bench. What jerks? All right, I'm not standing for this. You have your really good cards. I have mine. Actually, I think I saw Eevee and Snorlax. Switch out and start the assault. My opponent plays Cynthia to shuffle their hand into their deck and draw a new hand yet again. Then they play a Parallel Hollow Nest Ball, search your deck for a basic Pokemon, and add it to the bench. They chose Keldeo EX with the ability Rush In. My opponent uses Rescue Stretcher to retrieve Mega Sceptile EX from their discard pile, which I assume they intentionally discarded just a bit ago. I play Parallel Hollow Full Heal to remove poison from Garchomp and Giratina. Just for one turn, unfortunately. And then I used Linear Attack to attack that Mega Sceptile. This Aerodose is next. Ooh. A good move on my opponent's part. They play Max Potion to fully heal Mega Sceptile EX. And then they played Acerola to remove all the damage counters from Sceptile EX and put it back into their hand. Okay. Effectively undoing everything that I just did last turn. Interesting. get two more GX tag teams from my deck and another surrender 20 minutes in four wins not even 20 minutes that's really cool I hope I get a booster pack from that mystery box I would love to open a couple ah, at the end of today's episode but if all that I'm able to do is buy the theme deck I, I wouldn't be totally offended by that. Looking for opponent. Searching. Searching. Searching! Number one, sad boy. And I lost the coin flip, so I feel like I'm the number one sad boy right now. Okay. I'm gonna ban- oh, well, I'm going to put Deoxys as my active Pokemon. And I'll bench Onix and Mewtwo. I see I've got my 
fighting type Steelix in my hand. Pretty excited about that. I am done setting up. Ooh, a Prism Star Tapu Koko. I believe that's from Sun and Moon Team Up. My opponent plays Pokemon Fan Club to search their deck for any two basic Pokemon cards. And they choose Raichu and Alolan Raichu GX and Steel Type Jirachi. The Wishmaker Jirachi. My opponent plays Switch in order to make Jirachi their active Pokemon instead of uh, Tapu Koko Prism Star. Interesting move. They play Pokemon Catcher unsuccessfully. And they add Dedene GX to their bench. Little chubble, chubby cheeked electric mouse. <laughs> the chubbiest cheeks. Okay, just had to send an important message, as I often do this time of day. Attach a Psychic Energy to Deoxys, evolve my Onyx, and play Cynthia to draw a new hand. Add Dialga GX to my bench. Play Reflect. With that, my turn has ended. My opponent seems to be stacking energy on their Raichu and Alolan Raichu Tag Team GX. So I would go ahead and venture that that is their ace in the hole <laughs> uh, for the time being. And of course they retrieve Switch from their hand. I, I think I see what they're doing. Dance of the what? Dance of the Ancients. What does that do? Once during your turn, before you attack, if this Pokemon is on your bench, you may choose two of your benched Pokemon. Attach a Lightning Energy card from your discard pile to each of them. If you do, discard all cards from this Pokemon and put it in the Lost Zone. That explains a lot, and that was a lot to read. <laughs> Compliment my opponent's deck. They're doing crazy good. You can play this card only if you have four or fewer other cards in your hand. Draw a card for each of your opponent's Pokemon in play. Erica's Hospitality, a very pretty Sun and Moon team up card. I feel like I should try to attack with Deoxys, but it also really feels like it's not worth it. So I'm just gonna 
attach a double colorless energy to Eevee and Snorlax GX tag team. And uh, I'm sort of letting the Oxus go. And I really didn't want to, but that's what I'm doing. At about halfway through today's episode, I have four wins and zero losses. This might be my first loss today. Um, feeling pretty good about it, though, even if I don't get the Blastoise Sun and Moon team-up theme deck. I believe that's what it is. I know, I think it's called a team-up deck. There's a Charizard one, too, and uh, when I first started getting into buying the cards in real life again, I, I really wanted the Blastoise deck, and they just sold out so quick. I mean, I guess I'm not the only Squirtle, War Turtle, Blastoise fan out there. I can see why. Awesome Pokemon. Wow, my opponent is really uh, taking advantage of everything that they are capable of doing this turn. And they've actually set me back uh, a little bit more than I am comfortable with. I'm going to lose... Well, I'm going to be down by uh, three prizes. My opponent will knock out Lucario and Melmetal GX. And uh, then I'm going to have to show that I mean business with Eevee and Snorlax GX Tag Team. I think my opponent has Switch in their hand. I'm not sure. I guess not. Either way, Jirachi is awake again, which is just kind of ridiculous. <laughs> um, I'm just going to act like I don't have energy. Well, regardless of the presence of Switch, there it is. There's Raichu and Alolan Raichu. GX Tagatimu. Okay. And they quickly made work of Lucario and Melmetal GX Tag Team using uh, Tandem Shock. Let's see if Eevee and Snorlax GX Tag Team have what it takes. I'll play that. I'll play that. Add Rotom to my bench. And then I will use Megaton Friends GX. So no matter what damage the Raichus do to uh, Eevee and Snorlax GX Tag Team next turn, they're gonna... I'm going to heal up 110 damage in all status effects. Oh no. Oh no. Oh yeah! Uh, so there goes half of my strategy. Chuh. There goes, there goes my brick wall. You just busted a Kool-Aid man right on through it. And 
and it's another Marty card. Okay. I can't say that I'm too terribly offended. Um, darn. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get a Fighting Energy, the last one in my deck, so I have to save it for Garchomp and Giratina GX Tag Team. Uh, but just in case, put Energy Pouch on Eevee and Snorlax GX Tag Team. And I'm finally going to knock out this Jirachi, but I don't know if, if that means good stuff for me or bad stuff, and my opponent has Marnie all over again, so it doesn't really matter what I have in my hand. It doesn't matter. None of this matters. I actually fell into my first meme hole the other day. I was looking at Carl from Aqua Teen Hunger Force memes, and um, <laughs> there's just too much, too much to talk about here. But uh, I definitely I saved my favorites, and um, I had a good hearty laugh or twelve or twenty or well, thirty. Okay, I see what my opponent is doing here. They're trying to do everything they can to set up a Lowen Raichu and a Lowen Raichu to use their GX attack and uh, probably folly me. Or have me folly. At least um, they have a really good deck and it's at the least, it's up to par with uh, what I'm working with. So I'm really impressed, and um, yeah, I'm enjoying this match. Number one, sad boy. If you end up watching this, I you know just want to say you're playing very well and. Uh, Best match I've had today. Very cool. Everybody else surrendered. So like, at least one cool person stuck around, stuck it out. That's two more prizes for me, meaning at least I'll get three points for this match, even if my opponent is well and able. They need to do 120 damage to win. And, well, I think they would have been able. I don't know why they did that. Oh, maybe they're going to try to use other means to get Raichu and Alolan Raichu GX tag team as they're active. I'm really not sure. Energy Spinner! There it is! Well played, number one sad boy! Well played! Defeat! My first loss for today! Mm. I'm gonna cry! Okay, so... Yeah, I've got... 
Just about 20 minutes left. I guess I'll play my Deadly Brush GX. Now that the streak is over, I am four wins and one loss. For today's episode, Chocolate Puma. With a really neat Mega Gengar coin. I like it. Okay, I'm gonna play Scyther as my active, as it only needs one of any energy in order to attack. And we are all set to go. A very cool Mega Lop Pony and Jigglypuff GX Tag Team card. I'm not sure I've seen that one before. And it looks like my opponent has even more treats in store for me with Sylveon and Gardevoir. Or Gardevoir and Sylveon GX Tag Team. Especially considering they switched that to their active rather quickly. Some might say, as quickly as a spritzy. Okay, um, I'm going to play Crushing Hammer, unsuccessfully, and I'm just going to play Cynthia right off the bat to draw six new cards. Add um, Garchomp and Giratina GX Tag Team to my bench. Unfortunately, weak against fairy types, but we'll see what happens. And attack with Swords Dance, so that next turn, Blinding Scythe does 90 damage as opposed to the usual 20. Alrighty, my turn again. Attach a Grass Energy to Rowlet and a Lowen Executor GX Tag Team, and attack with Blinding Scythe. So, is everybody as excited for me for the street date, August 14th, of Sword and Shield Darkness Ablaze? Let me know in the comments. I would love to hear your thoughts. It seems like a really cool set, and I'm excited, as I previously mentioned, for the presence of a uh, Mew V card. I think that's just really cool. I haven't seen it yet. I'm, uh... Savoring the reveal, if you will. But thanks to Leon Hart's booster pack opening, spoiler alert if you haven't watched the video yet, uh, he does get 
a Charizard VMAX card. That is very cool. Attach a Lightning Energy to Rowlet and a Lillian Executor GX Tag Team, and I will attack with Calming Hurricane. Quite calming. And my opponent uses Guzma and Hala tag team to search their deck for a stadium card. And possibly more. Oh boy. I don't think I can win this now. We'll see. Either I'm going to be 4 and 2 or 5 and 1 wins and losses for today. Uh, due to the use of Wishful Baton, very expert usage of it on my opponent's behalf. Huh. That is not the move that I saw coming. I thought they were going to play. Mega Lop Honey and Jigglypuff GX Tag Team. Now I'm just all confused. <laughs> okay, I'm less confused. Well played, Chocolate Puma. Well, I'm sorry about that, everybody. It doesn't look like I'll be opening any boosters today. I'll do one more versus, though. And that's all I have time for. Hopefully, it doesn't really exceed the 10 or 15 minute mark. Happy weekend! And that's right, this is uh, the last episode I'm doing for the week, so happy weekend to everybody. Place Garchomp and Giratina GX Tag Team as my active. I'm going to keep Yanma in my hand. Intimidation Tactics, if you will. Play Professor's Letter to retrieve a Fighting Energy. High-Tech Fighting Energy. And High-Tech Psychic Energy from my deck to attach to said designated Garchomp and Giratina Tag Team GX. And with the turns that I wait to have all the energy I need to attach, or to have attached, Yowzers! Now I'm going to be waiting longer. Uh, I was going to say I'm going to damage these benched Pokémon because Talonflame does not have enough HP to survive the Brunt Blast of 160 that Calamitous Slash would normally do to an undamaged Pokemon card. Well, I can still play Fisherman, so all they really did was set me back a turn.
try him for a little bit of speed play. I see my opponent has the Lunala GX Deck Tin Deck Box again. Oh man, you are getting on my nerves. At least now I really have a reason to use Fisherman. Get two energy cards back from my discard pile instead of just one. And just keep damaging my opponent's overpowered Pokémon before they can even get them out. This farts. My other basic Pokémon is a basic Yanma. You're getting the angry face, pal. Unhappy weekend. All right, well... I just don't know what to do now. <coughs> Clear in my throat, but still into my shoulder. Yeah, I just don't know what to do. My opponent... has their fully loaded Necrozma. I don't have good Pokémon out. And, uh... I'm almost done for. I wanted a quick match, but not like that, man. Not like this! So, I guess that'll make me, uh, four and three for today, if I lose this one. Four wins, three losses. It's a living. Yeah, I 100% uh, saw that coming, and I really don't even know why I bothered setting up Scyther. Um, this is just not going my way. I'm going to lose! No! Oh, I should have just done that in the first place. Oh, I feel so dumb. I could have done that and not been dumb. No! I have been the stupid. Well played. Happy weekend. Defeat. <clears throat> and uh, seriously, happy weekend to you all. Thank you so much for watching. I am Doc Hikari. Once again, super excited for the street release date of Sword and Shield Darkness Ablaze. I hope you enjoyed. And uh, sorry I don't have any boosters or anything to open today. Soon I'll get that theme deck and uh, show off my new water. GX deck. 
I'll uh, build the deck on screen so everybody can see what kinds of deck I'm building. Decks. <laughs> Again, thank you for watching. I hope everybody has a great weekend. Happy weekend! And uh, take care, stay safe, stay cool, over and out.